Okay, now uh, today I'm going to take up uh, the cash flow statement and in cash flow statement we'll start with the investing activities. Now we have already seen how uh, to prepare the cash flow statement for the operating activities. Now investing activities, now first of all you should understand what are investing activities, right? So when uh, like I can say that investing activities are something which is related to the acquisition of long term assets right okay you can have uh, the money which is coming from disposal of long term assets right and what you are spending on acquisition of long term assets you have uh, anything that is related to here shares and debt instruments of other enterprises right that is the investment of other enterprises right so investing activities are basically those activities in which the company is investing the cash and they are getting some returns on that right so these investments have been uh, made so that the company gets some future income right so whenever I invest some on some shares or bonds or something like that we are going to get interest or dividend from such items right if I purchase a building right in that case I'm renting out the building in that case I'm getting the rent so that is an investment for me right so now let's see what are the items which you normally have in the investing activities right cash flow from investing activities now here you see these are these items that we normally have proceeds from sale of fixed assets right then I have proceeds from sale of investments right proceeds from sale of intangible assets that will also come right one is your tangible asset the other one is intangible assets right interest and dividend received now this interest and dividend received we now we are talking only about the non-financial companies if it is a financial company in that case it will go into the operating activity right rent income purchase of fixed assets earlier I had written proceeds from sale of fixed assets now here that is a cash inflow proceeds from sale of fixed assets is a cash inflow now purchase of fixed assets is a cash outflow right purchase of investments purchase of intangible assets like goodwill patent all such things right then any extraordinary items it can be either a receipt or a payment right plus or minus fine so these are the items that we normally include in the cash flow from investing activities right so this 
what what uh, items have to come in the cash flow from investing activities that you have to be clear with right now up to this place this one up to your rent income these are all money you are getting these are all cash inflows right proceeds from sale of fixed assets we are getting the money proceeds from sale of investment we are getting the money proceeds from sale of tangible intangible assets again money is coming in interest and dividend received rent income rent received now after this whatever i have given purchase of fixed assets purchase of investments purchase of intangible assets like goodwill and extraordinary items if it is a received you are getting it if it's a payment you are paying that right now these are the uh, items now let's take up a small example uh, for uh, investing activities in investing activities when you take up the questions uh, you have to prepare the ledger accounts for uh, some of the uh, items because there are some missing information in investment activities. So you have to find out the uh, missing information, right? Now, first of all, before uh, taking up a question, I'll tell you um, the format for the ledger accounts which is very important here in most of the cases you will have to make the fixed asset account right now you should know what all things should come in this ledger account so that you can find out the missing information in the question right now let's look at this now in the fixed asset account the opening balance will come here to balance brought down and the closing balance is here by balance carried down right then you will have if any fixed asset is purchased right if any fixed asset is purchased that will come here that is fixed asset account to bank account that is a purchase right same way if you sell any fixed asset it will be by bank account this is the sale proceeds right sale proceeds that you get of fixed assets now when we sell a particular asset there can either be a loss on that sale or it can be a profit fine whenever there is a profit on the sale of the fixed asset that goes on to the debit side which is to profit and loss account this is being profit on sale of fixed asset right and if there is a loss in the sale of the fixed asset it comes in your credit side by profit and loss account and this is loss on sale of fixed asset right now there is one item here whenever you prepare any fixed asset account whatever is the depreciation amount that comes on the credit side asset account depreciation account to asset account right whatever is the amount of depreciation will come here so supposing there is a question in which the amount of depreciation is not given so whatever is the balancing figure here by making the fixed asset account you can find out the amount of depreciation uh, everything is given like opening balance closing balance everything but depreciation is missing so this is the format of the fixed asset account that we generally have right now this one um, here basically when I do like this uh, this is the case when the assets are shown at written down value when the assets are shown at written down value so you know there are two uh, things uh, one is the original value of the asset the other one is the written down value of the asset so written down value means every year whatever is the amount of depreciation you uh, keep deducting that from the fixed asset right so actually the cost of the fixed asset is going down but in the original cost method the original cost will be the same and depreciation will be maintained separately right so i'll just show you the format of that original uh, 
cost thing also that is when fixed assets are shown at original cost now in this case uh, the, you have to make two accounts in this case. One is the fixed assets account. This will be uh, the original value. Now here, uh, see, you can, you will have here two balance brought down will come here. This uh, bank account for the purchases that we had, that is still there, right? Yeah, sorry. And uh, two uh, profit and loss account that is for any profit on sale of fixed asset these are the three things which comes here now on the credit side you have your uh, um, buy bank account this is for any kind of a sale right okay then there will be buy profit and loss account for a loss on sale of fixed asset loss on sale right and then uh, by here you will have by accumulated depreciation account now this is the difference here now this is your accumulated depreciation on the fixed asset right now we'll make a separate account for accumulated depreciation I'll show you that this is by balance carried down right here in the earlier one we had put by depreciation account here and here I have buy accumulated depreciation account. So accumulated depreciation account is prepared in the case of original cost. Fine. Now let's see how to make that accumulated depreciation account. Now these things are very important in investment activities. The preparation of these ledger accounts to ascertain any uh, missing information. Right. Okay, now accumulated depreciation account, uh, it has the balance on this side, by balance brought down and if there is a closing balance that will come on this side, by two balance carried down, fine. Okay, now whatever is the depreciation which is charged for the current year, that comes here, that is by profit and loss account profit and loss account this is the depreciation for the current year so it keeps on accumulating so this is added to the opening balance right and here if any fixed asset is sold if any fixed asset is sold then whatever is the accumulated depreciation on that fixed asset it will come here accumulated depreciation on any fixed asset sold if I sell a fixed asset one aspect is the profit and loss the other aspect is the depreciation on that so whatever is the accumulated depreciation up to that point of time that will come in this place right now this fixed asset account that you are writing here this one uh, sorry. this one right this two fixed asset account this is actually accumulated depreciation account debit to fixed asset account this is what is going there in the earlier one as by accumulated depreciation account so this amount whatever sorry whatever amount is coming here supposing this amount is not there you will first of all find out this amount by making this accumulated depreciation account and and then you will put it in the fixed asset account right so now I have shown you how to prepare what are the various items that are uh, there in the preparation of the investing activities and how to prepare the fixed asset account uh, at written down value and if it is a original cost if it is the fixed asset is shown at original cost then we have to make two accounts one is the fixed asset account one is the accumulated depreciation account right so in our next session i'll take up one example in which we'll be taking up a question on investing activities wherein some of the information will be missing and we will try to find it out by preparing some ledger accounts right so with that i'll end today's session 
on this investing activities